We're here with Mike Beto from IBM. Mike's an executive in DC. He works with uh, cloud and analytics in the healthcare and public sector space. And what we'd like to do in this video is talk a little bit about public sector mm -hmm. and what your clients are seeing, what you're seeing. Sure. What's going on? Well, I think, you know, if we take a look at the public sector in general, mm -hmm. really the, the goal is to provide a safer environment for the constituents. Uh, it's to provide better service for the constituents. So when we talk about cloud and AI and specifically like continuous intelligence, those are the conversations I'm having is, okay, how can we leverage data, artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning, Watson, things of that nature to provide a better environment for our you know, people? Maybe you can just give me one uh, example or, or use case with one of the governments that you work with. What problem are they trying to solve and how do you handle it? Mm -hmm. We're working with the state right now. Um, there, there's the whole story actually is, uh, there was a natural disaster occurred. Um, there was some flooding mm -hmm. and, um, you know, obviously some people needed to be saved. Right. So, uh, the, the governor at the time, he went to his you know assistant and said, you know, Hey, what's when can we get a life safety boat out there? And, you know, the assistant said, it'll be there in 30 minutes. And, uh, the governor said, okay. So he goes in front of the, the cameras and does a press conference. 30 minutes goes by and there's no boat. And he says to his assistant, you know, what's going on? And she goes, okay, let me make a couple calls. <laughs> she makes a phone call, come to find that the boat actually got checked into a separate depot, which was an hour and a half away. Okay. So she goes back to the governor and says, uh, sorry, sir, but, um, you know, it's actually going to be an hour and a half. And he says, how can we not keep track of our assets? with a couple extra explanations oh, sure. yeah. next into that statement uh, or into that question. So that kicked off this whole idea around this emergency asset op deployment optimization yeah. project. So how can we take our assets, um, better predict events, and then predict the deployment and management of those events and how we're handling them? Yeah. So in this case, um, you know, the, the case we're working on right now is around snow. So it's, you know, if it's going to snow in a certain city or county, do we have enough snow plows to handle that event? If not, let's reach out to this county and say, okay, you have some extra snow plows. Give us some. You're not going to experience the same amount of snow. Give us some, some of those plows so we can help handle, you know, clean it up for our for the people right. that live in our city. Um, so that's one use case and being predictive about it. And there's an myriad of data sources that we're using. We have historical data, um, you know, based on, you know, what the assets are. Um, we have weather data. So we acquired the weather company. So we're using that data. Um, we have data about the assets themselves. Where are they, right? Using tracking, using IoT. Um, are they serviceable? Or do they need maintenance? Um, do they have valid registration? Uh, things of that nature. And bringing all those you know, various sources together to then predict, okay, this is what we need to handle that, that, that event, and then putting it in a consumable fashion. With this uh, state that you're working with, and I, I understand that it's still in the, uh, the early stages, but what kind of technology solutions do you need to enable you to make those recommendations? So we're using IBM Cloud Pack for data as the foundation. Um, so it gives us the ability to collect all that, those various data sources that we just mentioned, uh, organize all that data, put terms and create a business glossary, um, policies, rules, things of that nature onto that data, uh, perform the analysis of that data. So creating that predictive algorithm that says, you know, it's going to snow at this time. This is what we need to do, or this is how we're able to handle that event and optimize the deployment of those assets. And then the infuse aspect of creating those dashboards let say, you know, visualization of it to say, this is what we would do in a consumable manner that somebody that doesn't understand technology per se can easily consume and act upon. So that's the foundation of the solution. Um, we're also using IBM Streams to, uh, to gather the data real time and perform analysis of that data as it's on the wire. So giving real time insights or continuous intelligence, uh, you know, on what we need to do to handle these events. It's really about, you know, putting data to work, right? And, and how do we do that by taking all the data that's out there 
and making real-time decisions, providing that continuous intelligence um, to make our lives as the constituents better. That, that's the focus when I talk to government uh, clients. Great. Great. Well, once again, it's thank you very a much. Pleasure. Thank you for having me.